Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial on switch security configuration. So in this tutorial guys what we're going to do is we're going to do a range of, of objectives we want to cover. So we want to create secure trunks, we want to secure unused switch ports, we want to implement port security, we want to enable DHCP snooping and we want to finally we want to configure rapid per VLAN spanning tree port fast and BPDU guard so what we're going to do is we're going to take it bit by bit guys and as you can see here in this challenge we've got a background basically saying that look you're in charge of this network you've got to basically um, enhance the security on it we want to connect up these access layer switches we're not allowed to do much with regards to touching this um, for example multi-layer switch but we have a range of tasks to configure so it does give us some, some, some overview instructions and then we've got to use our knowledge on the Cisco CLI to get these tasks completed. So let's get started straight away, guys. I'm going to take it bit by bit um, each, each time. So create step one, create a secure trunk. So the first thing is we're going to connect the gigabit 0 slash 2 ports of the two access layer switches. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a crossover cable and I'm going to connect up both of these um, access layer switches. And I'm going to connect them to the gigabit Ethernet ports on both switches. As you can see here, guys, again, it's only slightly, but my, um, my completion rate has gone from 0 to 1%. The next thing it's going to ask me to do is it's going to say, configure the ports gigabit 0 slash 1 and gigabit 0 slash 2 as static trunks on both switches. So... What I'm going to need to do now is I'm going to need to obviously configure up. I can see there's a trunk port going up to the multi-layer switch and I've just connected obviously this port over to my other access layer switch. Also, I'm just going to read ahead guys because a number of the tasks are to do with basically securing the trunk here. And what we might do is we might do the task together. This, the, the next part it says is disable DTP negotiation. So this is the dynamic trunking protocol negotiation on both sides of the link. And then we want to create a VLAN 100 and give it a name of native on both switches and then configure all trunk ports of both switches to use this VLAN 100 as the native VLAN. So what I'm going to do then, guys, is I'm going to do all of this step one together now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into um, switch one. I'm going to put this on top so that we can see it. And what I'm going to do is I can straight away I can see I'm getting some native VLAN mismatches already. And if we just go and have a look at the show VLAN, what I can see, guys, is there is a number of basically VLANs configured already on this switch. I can see a number of the ports are in VLAN 1, but I can see some ports are in this. Basically, I can see admin, sales and management VLAN. Now, there is no native VLAN at the moment. I'll have to configure that in just a short amount of time. So let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this up here and I'm gonna just look at the task that I need to do. So the first thing I'm gonna to need to do, guys, is I'm gonna to need to sort out this native VLAN mismatch. So again, if I go show interface trunk, let's just have a quick look to see what's going on. At the moment, I can see this guy is in native VLAN one. We need to change this. And in fact, look at this guy's fast ethernet zero slash two is in a trunking port on this native VLAN. Now, if I look at this diagram, I'm kind of thinking to myself, hold on a second, this is a access layer port here. So why is this trunking? So this straight away, what we can do is let's fix this problem first and foremost. I'm going to go to ConfT. I'm going to go under interface, fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. And I'm going to say switch port access. So switch port mode access. I'm going to change this from a trunking port to an access port. So I'm going to go escape. You can see there, spanning tree is kind of going through the phases. And when I go to escape again, and then go show interface trunk, I shouldn't see that interface anymore in there. Because again, that's not a trunking port. It's not connecting to another switch. It's just a basic um, PC here at the end of this fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. It's an access port. So I fixed that problem straight away. Let's start thinking about though, now about configuring ports gigabit 0 slash 1 and gigabit 0 slash 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do both of these together. But before I do that, I want to also create this new VLAN 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ConfT. I'm going to go um, interface. Um, and sorry, I'm going to go VLAN 100. I'm going to say name native. And I'm going to especially spell it correctly and use a capital N. 
Right. So now what I should see is if I go show VLAN, go to escape again, exit, go back to privilege mode and go show VLAN. Now I've got my native VLAN. So that looks better. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Conf T. I'm going to go interface range and I'm going to go gigabit zero slash one dash two because I'm going to do both of this configuration together. So both gigabit zero one and gigabit zero two. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want to make these static trunks on both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go switch port mode trunk. Okay, so that brings those ports up. And then what I want to do is I want to disable this DTP negotiation altogether. So how to do that is switch port, no negotiate. And I'm going to get rid of that negotiation. So I'm not no longer using this dynamic trunking protocol. I'm going to use switch port mode trunk on both sides of these links. So what else do I need to do? I also need to ensure that I put the native VLAN on this new VLAN 100 that I've just created. So what I'm going to say is switch port trunk native VLAN and then 100. Once I've done that, guys, that's going to be that's going to be good. Now I, I still am getting some some messages here, port consistency, but again, okay, so I'm actually getting an unblocking. So this is good that we're getting this done, and then I'll I'll have to do something similar on the other side in just a moment. So now that I've done it on switch one, guys, I also have to do a very similar process on switch two. So I'm going to go across to switch two. I'm going to, again, I'm getting messages of all sorts of inconsistencies on this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to switch number two. I'm going to create again, so enable show VLAN. I'm going to see that there's no VLAN 100 here on this particular switch. So I'm going to create that now. So I'm going to go conf T. I'm going to go VLAN 100. And I'm going to say name native. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go escape or exit. I'm going to go back into uh, privilege mode and then what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to do a similar aspect to what I did before so again what I want to do is I want to go into gigabit ports gigabit 01 and gigabit 02 so I want to treat these together together so I'm going to go conf t I'm going to go interface gigabit 0 slash 1 dash 2 oh and just be careful you've got to get that range in there or else it won't recognize the command and then I'm going to say switch port mode trunk and then what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to make sure that I basically put the native VLAN on port number 100. So I'm going to go switch port, trunk, native VLAN 100. And once I've done that, guys, that looks a lot better. Um, and I can see that the, the gigabit um, 0 slash 1 port consistency restored. So that's a good sign. I'm also going to just check, do a show interface trunk to see that hopefully I've got the trunking so I can see there we go this is good news 100 on both gigabit 1 and gigabit 2 so gigabit 1 is, is 100 is the native VLAN and gigabit 0 slash 2 is 100 so this all looks good and I can see the mode is set to on which basically means I've manually set that up so so far so good guys and I can see my score ticking up nicely here so 18% so once I've done that, it looks as though I've got, oh, one last thing, guys. I just need to do one last thing, disable the DTP on both sides. So I'm just going to go back under uh, interface range gigabit 0 slash 1 dash 2, and I'm going to say switch port, no negotiate. Just ensure that I do it on that side as well. So once I'm happy with that, guys, I'm now ready to move forward to step two. So let's dive straight into step two. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to need to shut down all unused switch ports on switch one. So let's go over to our friend switch one again. Let's go top and let's do that. Again, I'm seeing some messages that the ports have been restored, so it's a good sign. That now what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to have a look to secure unused switch ports. So how do I find this out? So a good way to find this out is by going show IP interface brief. And what I'll be able to see, guys, is I'll be able to see which ports are up and I'll be able to see which ports are currently down. OK, now, again, I could look on the diagram here to, for example, see, OK, 1, 2 and 10 look like they're up and 24 and gigabit 1 and 2. So, again, all of the rest of them are going to be down in this case. So, again, there's nothing connected from 3 to 9. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to, in a moment, I'm going to shut these down. 
But before I do that, I'm just going to read ahead. It says, on switch number one, create a VLAN 999 and name it Black Hole. And the configured name must match the required exactly. And then move all unused switch ports to this Black Hole VLAN. So what I'm going to do first then, guys, is I'm going to create that VLAN 99 or 999. So I'm going to go VLAN 999. And then I'm going to say name. And then I'm going to name this Black Hole for this kind of any ports that aren't being used, they're moved into this VLAN, that's this black hole VLAN. So again, keeping them separate from our data traffic on this network. So it's good practices. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to now start to switch that, switch off those ports. So once I've created that VLAN 999, I'm now going to go X escape. I'm going to go into interface range, and I'm going to look again at my range of ports. I'm going to go fast Ethernet zero slash and let's go back up here to, to check which ports so it looks like one and two are up three to nine are basically so i'm going to go three dash nine so once i'm in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to go shut down so that's going to shut down all of these ports there they go they're all shut down now and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go switch port um access vlan and i'm going to go nine 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 to move them all into that VLAN. Now to check that this is happening, guys, I can go escape, escape, or exit, exit, and go show VLAN. Now what I can see is, I can start to see, here's my new VLAN 99 black hole, and I can see three to nine are all moved into that VLAN ports. So, so far so good, but I haven't shut down all unused ports. So I'll do that show IP int brief command again. I'm going to now move down. I can see now, look at all these ports are minusly shut down. This is best practice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut 10 is up, so I better not do that. I need to move 11 all the way down to, let's keep going here for a second. Let's see where it's down. So it looks like 11 all the way down to 23 is shut down. So I need to shut down because they're all down at the moment. So 11 to 23. So let's go conf D. Let's go into interface range. Uh, fast Ethernet, 0 slash 11 to 23. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say shut down. And then I'm going to say switch port access VLAN 999. And once I've done that, guys, um, I can do exit, exit, show IP int brief. I just want to see now that my ports, that looks good, guys. You can see all of those are ministry shut down. So again, let's keep going. Let's see if there's any other down ports. And it looks as though, guys, everything else is shut down at this point. I can see Fast Ethernet 24 is up, which is here. I can see Gigabit 1 is a trunk port, and I can see Gigabit 2 is a trunk port. So now I'm very happy with that, guys. I've secured the unused switch ports and moved them into a black hole VLAN. And I can see, guys, my score is ticking up nicely to 66%. So guys, we're gonna come back in part two, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna implement port security, step three, we're gonna configure DHCP snooping, and then we're gonna configure our port fast and our BPD guard. We'll see how we get on. We might need to split it up into three videos. Okay guys, thanks for viewing this, and join me again for part two in just a couple of minutes. Thank you.